This problem has affected a lot of people with the latest version of WooCommerce and a lot of them are pointing the blame at Elemental or other tools. It's actually WooCommerce and it's something they did in the back end and Elemental are looking into this right now. What am I talking about? It was where you might add an item to a cart or you might click the mini cart option and down here where you would normally see all the items and the quantity that you've added to your cart, it's actually blank. It's the version of WooCommerce at the moment and it's version 7.8. The solution is to roll back and I'm going to show you how to do that but I do want to stress one little thing though. If you go to the link that I'm going to provide you in the video description which is the standard WooCommerce plugin page and you scroll down you will be able to go and get the previous version and I would say go and get 7.72 Now I'm going to download that but before you go and install that you're going to have to deactivate what you've got here but here's the bit where you must be very careful. When you, whenever WooCommerce do like an update like this, normally there's a WooCommerce database update as well. So you might install 7.7.2 or whatever, and you might have a bit of a problem. Now I'm going to test that out. So I'm going to deactivate my current plugin. I'm then going to click add new for the plugins, upload plugin, and I'm now going to choose my file, which is the WooCommerce 7.72. Click install, and I'm going to replace the current with the uploaded. And of course, activate the plugin. So you'll see here, we've now got 7.7.2 and it says, do you want to update? I am not going to do that. In fact, I'm going to make sure that we have disabled auto updates. Now, when I go back to my store and I click it, it's now opening absolutely fine. So you can see the issue there, just roll back to 7.7.2. But the reason why I wanted to apply a bit of word of caution is that if the database behind the scenes had updated and there was a bit of anomaly. Doing what I've done is not always a good idea. What you're better off doing is going to your host server, rolling a backup up, restoring from a backup and then installing. But then you might lose some of the orders you've had in that time as well. So you're going to have to kind of play it by what you think is the best solution. But I can definitely tell you right now, if you go from 7.8 to 7.7.2, You'll be okay. Hey, I'm Imran. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.